the QTech daily chart with megaphone display sees the megaphone cell 7 and count 7 still traveling onwards and upwards from where it printed and there's also a companion megaphone 5 and 6 count so we'll turn off 7 now and with megaphone 7 switched off we can see that the megaphone 6 and count is here so that means a 7 by count will print down here on a tick lower than this low and the relative retracement up magnet could become qualified today with a close above this close from the 21st today on the 22nd price in the pre-market hours is headed up so that could be a distinct possibility for that happening and the ATM trigger pressure up did make it above the overbought line 75 the fast trigger down is under the overbought line at 75 and slow trigger now down is well above the overbought line at 99 and the long term overbought P alert up printed so that's a contrarian indication that pressure will be or could be headed down soon eventually it will be headed down and it's just a matter of when that happens to go back to the oversold 25 and under bottom line this is an indication of a pullback being a strong possibility soon and the QQE fast made it above the overbought line here at 70 to at 70.12 so that's really getting somewhat stretched the DMI plus has the slightest downwards trajectory and the DMI minus is still pointed down too so no imminent danger there and the ADX is still moving up nicely it's at 30.65 as long as it stays above 20 there's still a possibility even on a pretty good pullback to turn it around and head back up and there should be pretty good support at the magnet level we can see it just about nailed it over here for a low and underneath there is the trend factor down one no imminent danger of getting that qualified today so that's pretty good support and right under there is the 100 percent and 50 percent momentum down no danger in becoming qualified for today and the top of the range that it busted out of 152.54 should be pretty good support and the daily QTech cloud chart shows the upper Stark band and upper Bollinger band running neck and neck up there and price is still below the channel 3 high it poked its nose above water yesterday on the 20th a couple days ago but then came back down under it and what's showing under here is the conversion line at 154.09 so that should be pretty good support and that's right above the top of the range we just looked at around 152 and right under there is the channel 3 low so this is major support almost down here for today and then bust through that and the stark band lower band is here and that level is right at the top of the range that we looked at so this is it for the s p 500 daily cloud chart was what we're looking at and four bars back is 4508.24 so it needs to stay above that to print the cell setup 9 end count 
and that means the floor will be at this close if that happens end of day today 4415.24 will be the new floor quite a jump up from where the floor is at currently 4151 that's a nice jump up for putting the floor under things and it will have the cloud for support both the top of the cloud and bottom of the cloud and there's trend factor to contend with and the conversion line so yeah this is a nice area for buying if it makes it down this far its relative retracement magnet level could become qualified today just like Utech with a close above this close for end of day today on the 22nd and all of that happens, 9 end count, maybe even get this qualified and confirmed. And then the other disqualified up magnet is in sight. And that's the all-time closing high from October 2022 is where this magnet level is set at. And in the S&P 500, the Megaphone 7 end count printed here and it's similar to the Q Tech where we turn the seven megaphone off and the six is here so then it will print the seven by count end count on a tick lower than this low and S&P 500 will print the cell set of nine end count as long as it stays above 4508.24 and the other day the supply line became disqualified that's a bad sign that's a opportunity for fading in the opposite direction down and now the qualified demand line happened yesterday on this very steep demand line so I thought it might become disqualified too, but it gapped down from the close of the previous bar on the 20th and did not tick higher back to meet it on this bar. So it stayed qualified because it closed under it. So that's somewhat of a bad sign, but it still has the chance and a lot of wiggle room to print the nine end count and that will put the floor over here at 43 47.35